First Live America's FX News Wrap the 20th of November. The USD moves lower as rates ease a bit. Stock up. The USD moved lower today, only outpaced by the CAD as the weakest of the major currencies. The JPY was the strongest. Over the weekend, PIMCO said they were moving into the JPY on expectations that the Bank of Japan would start to tighten. The U.S. Fed is thought to be over with their tightening cycle with the market pricing and the chance of an ease as early as March. That should weaken the USIPI. The last three days have seen the USIPI move down minus 0.4%. Minus 0.8% and minus 0.81% today. Looking at the daily chart, the move lower has taken the price down to test the low from October the 5th and October the 10th. Those lows in early October based the price before it surged to a 2023 high at 151.909, reached last Monday. That high price got within three pips of the 2022 high at 151.938, which would have been the highest level in 32 years. The sellers are trying to take back control, and if the fundamental shift can take place, boy hiking, Fed unchanged or lower, there is room to roam to the downside. The 100-day MA is currently at 146.528. That will be a key target for increased downside momentum going forward. On the economic calendar today, the conference board leading economic index came out at minus 0.8% versus minus 0.7% expected. The decline marked the 19th consecutive monthly fall, despite that string and the economy has still not reached recession status. The Atlanta Fed no estimate for 4Q growth is around 2%. That is down from 4.9% growth in the 3Q, but still comfortably above recessionary levels. Looking at other markets, in the U.S. debt market, yields were lower out the curve. Today, the U.S. Treasury auctioned off $16 billion of 20-year bonds. The auction was met with strong demand, especially from international investors. Domestic demand was somewhat tame relative to the six-month averages, but even still, the auction had a minus 1.0 basis point tail. That helped to push yield toward the lows for the day. The current snapshot near the end of day shows two-year yield 4.915% plus 0.8 basis points, five-year yield 4.442%, minus 1.3 basis points, 10-year yield 4.421%, minus 1.9 basis points, 30-year yield 4.572%, minus 2.4 basis points. In the U.S. stock market, the major indices continued their march to the upside largely driven by Microsoft's rally, following the hiring of key artificial intelligence executives, including Sam Altman, former head of Openy, and Greg Brockman, another Openy co-founder. Microsoft's hiring of these AI experts particularly Altman to lead a new advanced AI research team, positively influenced the technology sector, and also boosted stocks like Apple and NVIDIA. Both Microsoft and NVIDIA are closing at record levels. Apple shares are within $7 of its all-time record high of $198.19. The final numbers in the stock market show Dow Industrial Average rose 203.76 points or 0.58% at 35,151.05. S&P index was 33.36 points or 0.74% at 4,547.39. NASDAQ index rose 159.04 points or 1.13% at 14,284.52. In other markets, crude oil is up $1.79 or 2.35% to 70 $7.83. Spot gold is down 50, 3 cents or minus 0.03% of $1,977.30. Spot silver is up 1.7 cents or 0.07% at $23.41. Bitcoin is trading at $37,421.